You know, his legacy has been built along the way. There's been a lot of ebbs and flows in his life, just like mine. We go through some very highs and then me and Jeff had a lot in common. We've hit some lows, but his legacy will always be his passion for skateboarding. He was a fan of skateboarding, right? He, he, he way more detailed than, than I have ever been. I mean, like about tricks, about people, about who came, what, where they came from. Him sticking up for what he thinks is right and like what's important in skateboarding. He was always like advocating for like quality control. And it was all through this uh, show, he really him and his buddies, Buddy Cone and, and uh, Charno, that started Love Letters to Skateboarding. His legacy is just his passion for skateboarding. Well, Jeff and I had a very famous, very public fight um, where he was uh, kind of ragging on me during a skateboard contest and I uh, very publicly slapped him across the face back and we had a little back and forth and we're kind of uh, feuding for a while. Uh, but we made, we made up that. I mean, ultimately we have the same passion for skateboarding. We just have very different styles and how, how we do it. You know, I did a documentary called, you know, The Rising Sun and he did an interview and he said, you know, that even at our lowest point in where we were at life, you know, we were there for each other. And, and sometimes you never know who your closest friends are until you've been through some tough stuff. When he did that interview, he said, you know, that I was there for him in some pl pretty tough places. It made me realize how important our relationship was, you know, and it was unconditional. I skateboard because I love it. I'm passionate about it, but I can also use it as a tool or a way to influence others. It's a form of creative expression and there's so many things to do, like you'll never be out of things to try. There's always something that you haven't done. You can use it to beat yourself up, you can use it to calm yourself down, you can use it to you know, get all the aggressions out of your system. Nowadays I use it as a way to share my faith, share my convictions, share the, the roads that I went down that they shouldn't go down, the roads that I, I'm going down now that I'm telling them to stay on. And so for me, it's almost like a vehicle to be able to share the things that I've experienced in life and then share that I'm a, I'm a miracle. I'm a walking example of second chances. And then the other part of why I skateboard is just because of the community and I feel like it's given me so much. There's an incredibly broad range of styles and approaches to skateboarding. But the coolest thing about it is that those, those approaches or styles are yours. People find their groove in skateboarding uh, and there's so many different ones you can take. Well, you can go somewhere else and you can go to a skate park and meet people and skate with them and have a session and maybe not even be able to exchange words, but you can share a session and like push each other and have fun. Jeff was definitely a, a person who fought many battles and I believe that you know, he won way more than he lost. It just shows in his son, Oliver. It shows in what his contribution to skateboarding has been. It shows in how much he sacrificed his life to be able to tell that story, to share his love letters with the world and what he feels and thinks about skateboarding because it's his love letter to skateboarding. And for me, that's a, you know, that's a legacy that'll go from generation to generation to generation.